Earth Day 1970. It was born on the heels of environmental disaster, but after 45 Earth Days, the time has come for a shift. Fear must eventually be replaced by hope. I'm Nancy Knowlton. My husband, Jeremy Jackson, and I are coral reef biologists. We fell in love with coral reefs when they were healthier than today. But in the 1980s, we saw our favorite coral reefs die. For years, we told panic messages. We even became known as Doctors Doom and Gloom. But about a decade ago, we said enough. Huge problems with no solutions cause people to tune out. The fact is, there is a great deal of good work being done, yet most people don't know about these successes. So a group of us launched a hashtag, Ocean Optimism. In just two years, it has reached 70 million Twitter accounts. Furthermore, we're making progress on the land as well, which means the time has now come for the unifying message of Earth Optimism. To launch this global message, scientists at the Smithsonian Institution have come together to form the Conservation Commons and plan three major activities. First, we'll host the Earth Optimism Summit. It will take place around Earth Day, April 21st to 23rd, 2017 in Washington, D.C. Many of the participants will be young people, those who will be responsible for taking the Earth to a better place in the coming decades. The proceedings will be live streamed around the world. Second, we will share our optimism with the general public via free events, large and small, across DC. Third, simultaneous events will be held around the world from London to Hong Kong. There's a whole team of us now working on this monumental event. It's gonna be important, but it's also gonna be fun. And it will be truly great if you can join us in DC or wherever you are for the first Global Earth Optimism Summit.